like to talk about something that we've seen in the trade over the years and some options that you may have if you're in this position. A lot of folks, if they have an outdoor straight AC unit, a lot of those units over the years have only had two conductors, two wires, ran to that outdoor unit. And the problem becomes your options are limited. And I wanna go over a few of those options so you can kind of understand what the challenges are. If you do have a straight AC outdoor unit and you're wanting to upgrade that, you're wanting to say go with a heat pump, save some energy. There's so many options out there, cool options, as far as types of heat pumps that you can have installed and so many ways that homeowners can save a ton of money if they were to just upgrade and spend a little extra money. But again, your options are limited if you only have two wires running out to that outdoor unit. So let's back up a little bit. Here's the challenge. If you had a straight AC outdoor unit, you actually only need two cables. That unit's only going to run in the summertime. The two wires are your hot wire that actually closes all the low voltage components like the contactor telling that unit to turn on. And the other cable is your grounded common neutral if you want to call it that. Most guys in our trade call it the common wire. And so you only need two wires to operate and tell that system to turn on. But if you were to go with a heat pump, you've got a number of wires that usually need to be run out there. You've got your hot wire that tells the unit to turn on. That's usually what we call a Y. You've got your common wire. You've got your constant hot. If it's got some sort of circuitry, a control board of some type, you've got your reversing valve wire. And finally, you've got your wire that turns on the backup heat when that system goes in the defrost. So a number of wires and, and some systems have even more than that. If it's got a two-stage compressor and so on, the problem becomes if you have just a straight AC outdoor unit, this is the problem the guy I was talking to the other day, he's getting a DIY unit and he, of course he had questions for me. That's not really something I do just so you know if you're in that position. I don't, I'm not a DIY advisor. I don't advise folks how to do DIY. A lot of folks are a little confused about what my content is. A lot of guys that are in the trade think, oh, well, he's just a DIY or his channels are for homeowners. And then other DIYers either think the same thing or, or annoyed when they find out differently. The bottom line is my videos are for, I would say if I was speaking to my own mother or your mother and she's about to buy a heating and air system, I want her to be a little more educated than what she might be before she purchased that system. That's really what my videos are all about. Back to the matter at hand, if you have a straight AC outdoor unit with only two cables running to it, what are your options moving forward? If you now want to do a heat pump system, what can you do about all this? And you have a number of options. I'm gonna go through four of those main options. One of those being, you could just stay straight AC. That is an option. You could just simply replace the outdoor unit with another straight AC outdoor unit. You won't get the benefits of having a heat pump. You won't be able to save more energy in the winter time, especially on those mild days. And you can simply just stay with a straight AC outdoor unit. The second option is pretty obvious and that is pull a new wire, right? You could run a new wire from the indoor unit or thermostat out to that outdoor unit. Now, here's the problem. That's easier said than done in a lot of houses. There's a lot of physical obstacles. There's walls and if that unit say in the attic, now you've got to try to figure out how to get a wire from the attic all the way down to the outdoor unit. I've seen people do that different ways. Guys have ran wires on the exterior of the wall and I hope we can all agree that that's not a very, if nothing else, aesthetically pleasing way of doing it. But you know, I've had some guys that felt like they had no choice. Another option would be, I've seen these products, I've heard them called different things, different verbiages, but basically I call them wire extenders. That's what I've heard them called a lot. And essentially they use a technology where you can wire one adapter to the indoor unit and then you go to the other end and you wire this other adapter to the outdoor unit. And it's essentially taking the two wires that are coming to that outdoor unit and then making it into a whole bunch of wires. And you might say, well, how does it do that? I think it uses some communicating technologies. It's sending just like a communicating system would between the two adapters but then the adapters themselves are closing and opening switches and telling those units, just like a normal five or eight conductor cable would do that going from the indoor to the outdoor, these units allow you to do that. And I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video if that's something you think you might be interested in. I'll put a link to one that I've seen used a lot. I can't vouch for how good or bad it is. I've just seen it used a lot. So check that out in the description of this video. And then finally, your last and what I think is the best option 
is if you're gonna go with a heat pump and you wanna get more efficiency, most folks, if that's what they're even considering, it's because they want the upside of having a heat pump system. I think that you might wanna consider a really good heat pump system. My company, we sold Daikin for a number of years and one of my favorite products they make is the Daikin Fit. It only needs two wires. It only needs two wires going from the indoor to the outdoor unit. The technology it uses, uses sort of like internet data type technology, what we call communicating technology, where it's actually sending DC voltage pulses through the wiring, and it doesn't need a whole bunch of wires to open and close switches. It has a more advanced technology only requiring two wires. I'll also, if you're interested in the Daikin Fit, put a link to that in the description of this video as well. Please note that Daikin has sponsored some of our content on our YouTube channel and the FTC requires that I say so. So that's, in my opinion, the four best options. I think there might be a few others out there, but those are your main options that you need to consider if you wanna go with a heat pump outside, try to save some money, try to make a good long-term decision. I think heat pumps have come a long way. If you go into other countries, they only install inverter heat pump style systems, whether they're mini splits or unitary, they're just inverter style heat pump systems or AC, but you get what I'm saying. You wanna save the energy, you wanna have a better system, and these are your options. So let me know your thoughts. Comment down below, did I miss an option maybe that you're considering? Are you considering one of the options that I just went through, whether it's the Daikin Fit or these wire extenders or one of these other ways of doing it? Or did you simply just stay straight AC? You didn't want all the extra and you just decided to stay that route. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave me a comment in the comment section. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I go through 10 ways to extend the life of your HVAC system. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.